What's going on? Mr. Allen here. We're going to find the area of the sector of circle R if the measure of angle ARB, that central angle, is 72 degrees and AR, that radius of that circle, is 8 inches. Now that sector is just that shaded region that we have here. That's what that's called. It's a sector of the circle. Now there are formulas for the sector of the circle, uh, different ways of writing it. I personally like a proportion when I'm setting this up. So there's my generic proportion. We have the arc measure over 360, and remember my arc measure is equal to the central angle, so in this case, the 72 will replace that, equals my sector area over the area of the entire circle. And if you're like, hey, this looks very similar to arc length, it is basically the exact same thing. The only thing that's changed out would be, that would be the circumference formula rather than the area formula, and I'd be getting my arc length, not my sector area. So there are similarities there. Okay, so let's get after this bad boy. Arc measure, as we said, is gonna be the same as my central angle angle, which is 72 divided by 360 equals, I want my sector area for this one, I do not know that, divided by, now it's going to be pi times, and my radius here is 8, so 64 then when I square that. Okay, so we're going to have to cross multiply here, and I think I will just uh, do a little bit on our calculator. So we're going to have 72 times 8 squared, which is 64, and I'm going to get 4,608 pi equals 360, and I'll go ahead and call my sector area, we'll just call it X for now, okay? So that's gonna be X, since that's what we're solving for. So how am I gonna solve for X here? Well, I'm gonna divide by 360. So if I do that, divide by 360 here, and we end up with 12.8 when we do 4,608 divided by 36. Hmm, it's a decimal with pi, and we don't usually like that. I mean, it is terminating and all, but let's see if we can change that into a fraction. Let me pull up my T84 plus. So as you can see here, we've got the 12.8, right? So I just work with my numbers in the calculator there, and I leave pi alone. So usually we'll say in terms of pi. I know it didn't say it in this problem here, but we'll generally leave things in terms of pi when dealing with circles. All right, so how can I get this into a fraction form rather than decimal? If I hit that math button right below the green alpha, my first option there is frac. And if I hit enter, you're gonna see answer, arrow frac. If I hit enter one more time, it'll turn it into a fraction, which is 64 over five. So my final answer here will actually be, instead of 12.8 pi, we're gonna do 64 over five pi, and that would be inches squared. That would be my final answer, or I could write this as 64 pi over five inches squared. Either one of those is fine. You should be fluent in both, just in case it's a multiple choice question or something like that. But that would be my sector area in terms of pi, no decimals, exact answer, which is what the majority of math tests are gonna ask you for. Plug it in your calculator to get the decimal answer if it asks for rounding to the nearest 10th or 100th, but most of them are gonna ask you for that. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. It was awesome. See ya.